The 2016-17 National Beef Quality Audit found that injection site lesions visible on the carcass surface have increased since 2010-11. Even after trimming, the beef several inches away from an injection site lesion can be tough, which results in reduced eating quality. We spoke with Dr. Kelsey Shacker from Olds College about how cattle producers can reduce the probability of an injection site lesion. So in picking which drug or vaccine to use, we want to look at using sub-Q or subcutaneous over intramuscular. The reasons behind that are it has less tissue trauma than injecting right into the muscle. With less tissue trauma, we see less bruising and you have a better carcass quality if they need to ever use any of that tissue or meat in the area that you've injected. What should cattle producers know about giving larger amounts of medication using an injection? When we're picking volumes to inject, we want to stay at under 10 mils per dose. That just ensures that we don't cause a large inflammatory response in the area. When we're looking at giving our injections, there is times that the volume of the total drug or vaccine that you're administering will exceed 10 mils. If that happens, what you need to do is give your 10 mil volume, pull your needle and syringe out of that injection site. You're then gonna look for about a hand width space up or down the neck and then place your needle and syringe back in that new spot, inject another 10 mils. Alternatively, you could use both sides of the neck. What factors need to be considered when treating an animal in the pasture without handling facilities? Sometimes you're gonna to have to be able to treat your animals on the range or pasture where handling facilities are not readily accessible. One option is a remote delivery device system, such as using a dart gun. There's bows and arrows as well as jab poles that can also help you with this job. We want to be only injecting 10 mils per injection site. So even though this dart could potentially hold more than 10 mils, we wouldn't want to fill it past that. The other thing to look at is the type of needle. You want to use the needle provided for your dart or whatever system you're using. These dart guns and many of our range type devices pack a pretty big punch and if you are too close to the animal, you're gonna increase tissue bruising and damage to the area that you're shooting for. The other thing you need to consider is what drug you're going to use. Not all drugs can be low volume or less than 10 mils to get a full treatment. So using penicillin that might take 50 to 60 mils to treat, probably not the best choice for a remote delivery system. What are the potential consequences of injecting medications through mud or manure on the hide? If we start injecting through manure and tag, you run the risk of using your needle to go through the debris, which then can bring bacteria and foreign material into our injection site, increasing the risk of an injection site abscess, which can then make our drugs less active and also cause damage to our animal. To learn more, please visit the website to view our full-length video on safe and effective injection techniques.